Mischievous Mice is a Van Buren cartoon. This was released in 1934. It's directed by Hugh Harmon, Rudolf Ising and Drew Bromley, written by Rudolf Ising. And it's part of their Aesop's Fables series. And in particular, it's a Cubby Bear cartoon. And this is the first Cubby Bear cartoon that I've seen. There's a good handful of them. I think there's about 20 or so. And I really thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's a lot of fun. The animation is really nice. And we have some pretty good music as well. So there will be some spoilers as I talk about what happens in this and share some thoughts. But in general, if you don't want any spoilers, I will just say it's really delightful and I really thoroughly recommend it. There are mice everywhere. I love the animation of the mice. They look really fantastic. They're kind of simple and very straightforward. But there's something about, I guess, when there's a lot of them, it looks really great. And the bear, I believe, is called Honey phones up for help and Cubby Bear arrives and in his bag he has a cat and of course the plan is to get the cat to get the mice. Doesn't really work so he has to try some other things as well and I thought it was really fun and really entertaining and very creative. I really like the animation style. I'll discuss what happens at the very end in a moment just in case you don't want to know. Huge spoilers but I also loved the ending, but I'll get to that in a moment. I think the pacing for this is great. I think maybe Cubby Bear could have been introduced a little bit more quickly and we could have maybe got a little bit more out of that. But in general, I wasn't feeling like it was slow. I wasn't waiting for it to get to the point. So could have been a little bit tighter, but in general, the pacing was quite good. The character of Cubby Bear... I really like. I actually think this is the last Cubby Bear cartoon. Don't ask why I started with this one. I have no idea. But I will be going back to the beginning and watching them chronologically after this. And I definitely will be watching them. I really thoroughly enjoyed this one. And the actual narrative itself has a lot to offer. It's very creative and visually really delightful as well. So great characters. I'm really keen to see what else we do with Cubby Bear and really nice animation style, really fun narrative, creatively executed and with a great ending as well. So I will now, with a huge spoiler warning, tell you what happens in the last few seconds or, well, maybe let's say the last minute. So towards the end, Cubby Bear is pumping poison into the mouse hole and quite cleverly they put on their little gas masks and then put a hose from the mouse hole outside back into the air and it kind of makes Cubby Bear woozy. He falls back into a chair and they tie the chair up and they tie him up and this piece of string or whatever it is goes all around the house and all outside and then they attach it to the piano and they start playing the piano and it winds the string in and of course Cubby Bear is attached to this. So he goes on this journey throughout the house and the garden around the poles and or a tree, I can't remember if it was a tree or a pole, but something outside and he was whirling around it and just that visually was so much fun and so well done and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And that's all to the tune of Oh Susanna, which I thought was great fun. So I thought this was a pretty decent cartoon. As my introduction to Cubby Bear, I thought Mischievous Mice was very entertaining. Looking forward to watching more. And I'm definitely very happy to recommend this one.